Alrighty, guys, so we have to do a quick M1 Finance portfolio update after we had a pretty rough week in the stock market last week. And let me tell you, this portfolio, which is my YouTube portfolio, as you guys should know at this point, it didn't do well. And we'll break down stocks I'm holding, moves I'm looking to make, all that good stuff. So sit back, relax, hit the like button, subscribe, take a sip of your coffee, check out my Patreon, and make sure to actually get 50 free bucks from M1 Finance, which is the this platform, all of that, the Patreon, the 50 free bucks from M1 Finance, all that's linked right down below. And with that being said, let's get into it. So right now, the portfolio is sitting at $16,200. And I believe the last video I made two weeks ago, we were sitting over $17,000. And you can see in the past month, we're down a whopping $860 in this portfolio, down about 5%. And in the past week, we're down almost $575. And just yesterday alone, we're down $400. Just yesterday on Friday, <clears throat> the short week or the short day that we had where the markets completely collapsed on the fear on uh well the fear around this uh, new strain of the CV coming out of South Africa right we had you know the VIX up 55 percent the Russell went down four percent S&P down Nasdaq all went down about two two and a half percent and that hit my portfolio here about four hundred dollars and went down about two point four percent so let's break it down and see how bad this portfolio has been doing. I'm not showing you guys only the great, all the great stuff. We're going to be showing the bad stuff as well because it's the reality here. You know, the markets aren't always going to be going up, up, up and away. There's going to be down, down cycles, down moves within the up moves. So let's break it down and see how this thing has been doing over the past day, week, and month. We'll start on the month. Um, S&P 500, my biggest position here is VOO. This has not been doing too bad, but it hasn't been doing too well either. I mean, in the past month, it's gone up 27 bucks, barely anything, and that's about a 25% position in this portfolio. Google's gone up about 50 bucks in the past month. Alibaba's what's really been killing me in this portfolio and in my other account as well, private account. I do own Alibaba. Hasn't been going well in the short term, but as you guys know, this is not a short-term portfolio. It's a long-term portfolio, so I'm not worried whatsoever about it. But in the short term here, over the past month, Alibaba has gone down $500. I've lost $500 on paper. Amazon, I'm up $62 on paper over the past month. XLE, an energy ETF, I'm down about $100. GDX, down $40. PayPal, which we'll talk about in a second here. I've been buying PayPal in this account and other accounts as well. PayPal has been getting hit. I'm down 240 bucks on paper over the past month on PayPal. MasterCard down about $73. Um, Tesla, I'm up $92 over the past month, which is great. And Disney, I'm up $120. As you guys know, Disney has also been getting destroyed this past month. And it's kind of been a lot of stocks in this portfolio have been getting destroyed, right? We uh, The only good ones in this portfolio have been Google, Amazon, and Tesla, the mega caps, right? They've been doing pretty well, but everything else, you know, Disney, MasterCard, PayPal, GDX, XLE, especially Alibaba, these have not been doing too well for me. But overall, if we pull back a bit, again, this is a long-term portfolio. If we go to the all-time tab for all-time gains here, we're still doing fairly well across all my positions, right? We still have some red ones. You know, Disney, now I'm in the red in this portfolio, all-time. PayPal, now I'm in the red as well. And same with GDX and Alibaba, which all these are long-term, but overall, we're in the red as of now, which gives me, you know, opportunity to buy under my cost basis, which is a good thing, right? Um, but other than that, I'm doing pretty well. And overall, we're still up about $3,000 in this portfolio all time. So we're making money. And as we're seeing a lot of inflation out there, which is eating away our purchasing power, eating away the value of our dollars, investing is a way 
to beat that, right? Outperform what inflation is doing so we can stay ahead. That's the whole idea of investing money. And I'm happy with it, guys, you know, and I'm pretty confident over the next three, five years that Alibaba is going to bounce back in a major way. PayPal is going to bounce back in a major way. And of course, Disney is as well. And I'm going to put money in probably next week into this portfolio, throw some cash at it, and I'm going to end up buying more Disney and PayPal. No doubt about it. 100% that's happening. I might even buy more XLE in this portfolio. So let's pull up the trading tab, the activity tab, and see kind of what's been going on here. Honestly, nothing crazy has been going on. I bought, um, I think since last video, I bought two separate times. I bought a little bit of PayPal, I believe, a couple days ago. I bought 100 bucks of PayPal in this account at $190. I bought half of a share at $190.21. And then, and that was on the 23rd, by the way. And on the 15th, I bought, let's see here, I bought more PayPal at 212 on the 15th which it fell a lot on, uh, more under 212, but it's all good, guys. We're averaging in. And then I bought more Disney at about 160 on the 15th as well. And again, I'm going to be putting in probably 500 bucks this week or the next week, and then I'm going to be averaging more into these, probably buy a couple hundred dollars of uh, more Disney, more PayPal, and I'll probably leave a little bit of cash in here as well to um, you know let things... Just, just keep some cash because cash is a position. Let things, you know, we're gonna see what the markets do. Let their, let the markets do their thing, right? And um, you know, if we go lower, we have cash. We'll be able to buy some more stocks. And if things, let's say we bounce back aggressively, let's say this was only a short-term scare in terms of this new strain of you know what. You know, who knows? Maybe we do bounce back aggressively. We hit all-time highs again, which at that point, I might consider trimming a little bit of my overbought positions. Let's say Amazon runs like crazy, hits an all-time high. I might trim a little bit of Amazon. You know, let's say Tesla runs up even more. I might trim it again because if you guys remember, I think it was the last update video when Tesla was trading at 1250 I trimmed some at 12:30 in this account, right? And then it ended up dropping under a thousand, I believe, shortly thereafter. And now we've bounced back quite a bit. Tesla's now trading at what's it at now? 1,080. It actually went down three percent um, yesterday on Friday. And my average in this account is $620 a share. So I'm already up pretty much 2x on my Tesla. So I, I would consider, you know, trimming a little bit if it did run again. But overall, guys. That's pretty much it. You know, we're sitting at 16200 right now. We're showing the reel on this port, uh, on this uh, channel here. We're not BSing. You know, I'm showing the good and the bad. That's how it goes. It's not always great. It's not always sunshine and rainbows in the markets. You're going to lose money on paper. There's going to be a month, a couple months in a row where you are going you are in in the red. I mean, look, even in the past quarter, I'm down 130 bucks in this portfolio. You know, it hasn't been doing that well. But if you have a long-term vision, which again, this is a long-term portfolio. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but if you have a long-term vision, you have stocks that you believe in, which I believe in all these stocks, or else I wouldn't own them. Um, you should be in a pretty good spot, right? And of course, one thing worth mentioning is some of these stocks have more risk than others, right? Some of my safer bets, quote unquote, in this portfolio, for me at least personally, I would say Google's a safer bet for me. Disney's a safer bet. Um, PayPal, I would put in that category as well as safer. And a little bit more risky, we're talking Alibaba, Chinese Communist Party, right? CCP. That's a pretty risky play. You know, maybe MasterCard's a little bit more risky, but then again, I don't think that's that risky. Um, Tesla's probably more risky considering the valuation is very hot right now. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Energy, who the heck knows what's going to happen with energy over the next couple of years. That might be a bit more risky of a play. And uh, yeah, I mean, you got to have some plays that are risky, some that aren't that much. And then in my opinion, you have to have an ETF that tracks the S&P 500 or whatever, the NASDAQ, whatever you guys want. But for me, it's the S&P 500. And uh, that acts kind of as the core of my portfolio. And I build around it, as you guys can see 
I have about four grand in VOO in this account, and my portfolio is about 16 too. So it's about 25% of the portfolio. So overall, guys, that's it. You know, that's that's kind of how we've been doing here over the past two weeks. Nothing too crazy. I'm not panicking whatsoever. I'm going to be buying more Disney. PayPal. I'll probably average into more VOO if the markets come down a bit more. So if you all found value, hit the like button, subscribe, drop me a comment, and make sure to get your 50 free bucks from M1 Finance. No joke. It's 50 free bucks. All you have to do is use my link down below, deposit 100, and we each get 50 bucks to invest with. It's that simple. And by the way, that's limited time. I think there's only a couple more weeks um, this promotion's running. So get your money down below. Check out my Patreon as well if you want all my real-time moves, not only in this portfolio, but all my portfolios, right? If you want all my moves I'm making, option moves as well, that's on Patreon. Link down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. As always, keep crushing the markets. Stay safe out there. Peace out.